Well, hello, 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 brothers and sisters. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my brothers and sisters. It's such a glorious day. I'm sitting outside. Feels like 80 degrees. And guess what? I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> it's another glorious day. I hope all is well. And I wish you were all having a super day. I'm just sitting here. I've completed some tasks when I have the opportunity to get done. And most of that's landscaping and yard work. And I just want to get freshened up and chat with y'all a little bit before I go and start doing another another um, Bible study on sin. And that's one of the lessons. That's the uh, series I'm on right now. I'm doing a suppository teaching on sin. Okay? But while we're out here, let's enjoy this beautiful and gorgeous weather we have here. Let us not deter us from our, our mission, our focus. Let's remain focused and let us be steadfast in what we believe in and continue to reach higher heights and take advantage of. And I just want to encourage each and every one of you to take hold on every opportunity, whether it be traditional opportunities or other network opportunities. There's a lot of good network marketing companies out there that are very good that people are earning six figures some are earning five figures some are earning seven figures you know depend how long you've been working just like anything else you got to work on it you can't just sit around and be on that by and by and think it's going to fall off a tree like an apple when it's rotting and you're going to get results that's not true results comes with effort and i just wanted to share that to my team my partners and all my fellow believers you know Everything comes with effort. Effort. Nothing's given to you. Nothing's whole is being built for you. You have to build it yourself. And if you're not coachable, you're not willing to listen or pay attention to detail, like my like this say a lot, then you're not gonna have success. That's just the way it is. But anyway, I'm always looking at opportunities and I'm being off of this. It takes patience. Even in investment stocks, uh, crypto, it takes time. It takes years to see results. And what you hope and pray for that it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't collapse. It doesn't uh, run into new legislation that will kill it. I mean, I remember the housing industry almost died back in 2008 when the banks collapsed. And there was a great collapse and the government had tried to dig it out, and a lot of them didn't make it. A lot of real estate people didn't make it. A lot of finance people, companies, financial companies didn't make it. A lot of them, you know, collapsed. A lot of banking collapsed. Even right now, banks are falling apart. Change is coming. The question, question is, are you ready? The world's changed, and you have to change with it. But anyway, I just want to share my yard. Let me go out and stand up right here. Uh, as you see, I'm wearing my red, and I'm wearing shorts in my red shoes. Let me go ahead and turn this camera around, guys. All right. See? Got my red shoes on. Feel pretty good. I like these shoes and socks. But you see, the yard is pretty much done. I got the guys to aerate it. They're going to be back tomorrow, do some work for me. And then I'm going to make sure they do some improvements on this area too, reinforce that. Because uh, Tony's not doing no hard labor no more. I did good by cutting the grass and vacuuming up the leaves. Oh, then we're going to add some mulch right there. We're going to get chill and I'm going to get some flowers. I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick this time. There my children are coming up nicely. Rosebush is coming up nicely. My lilies are coming up. A lot of my plants are coming up. I try to build stuff that come back every year. These lights are working properly. Yes, Lord. See, I mean, guys, if you let's face it, if you want anything good out of life, you gotta work on it. You got to work on it at your like You're living in an apartment. You're talking about you want a big house. You better start working as a habit now. Or it's not going to manifest. Or you're not going to be a good steward. 
The word said you'd be faithful over a few things. That's anything in life. God will make you rulers over many things. And that's for real. See, look at all this green grass right here. Had to cut. They're getting there. These new grass should be taking hold soon. And should be growing. Oh, my leg's tired. Whew. And I had to get all that swept. Hello. Landscape coming around nicely. Once the flowers and the mulch is added, it's going to look, it's going to really stand out. Well, some of the plants are coming back. This one's coming back. Yeah, this one's coming back nicely. Got to get some new flags, too. And this one is coming back nicely. Get that thing out of there. Gravel looks nice. Uh oh, somebody knocked down. Oh, and my lights. change colors at night. That's good. My K-pop flag waving proudly. That was uh, my last airborne unit. Alright, these going through their cycles. These are now getting ready to become seeds. These are getting ready to change. These are just coming up. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. And I shouldn't be bending. I should have kept my brace on. These guys are recovering. Considering that we replanted them. And these are coming out. I'm going to put something else special in there. Some of my neighbors passing through. Bird bath okay. I'm not going to. Oh, Lord. There's something on the ground. I gotta, I'll pick it up later. My lilies are clusters are coming up. I had to move them in that pot because the chipmunks were eating them up or the mold. They, something was eating them up. Tore that roots up. Gotta put something in here along with this plant that came back. This is gonna be gorgeous come uh, come May. You'll like it. But it's work. It's work. Let the professionals do it. I'm not. I'm gonna sit back this time. We did much done as much as we can on our own. We put stones around, around here. Then we put the rocks right there at the border. Of course, we laid out some tarp um, for the plant won't hurt the tree. That's made for this area. That's called landscape tarp. Lay down on first. Then we and we were doing this in the rain. It's like every time it rains, we end. We do work. I already put some weed killers on the ground around the border. Kind of hard to walk right now. Legs a little weak, and but uh, we'll be all right. But those rose bush, that them those tulips looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can zoom in now. Excellent. Couldn't do that at first. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, still with this time of year, guys. Contractors are out. They always come in this neighborhood. Cause it's always work to be done. <sighs> I want to remodel my kitchen. That's why I really I got the bathroom done. I want to remodel it. Um, I made up my mind. I'm going to get it remodeled. Why well, move to another house when you can remodel the one you have? It's beautiful today. Yeah, I got to put some stuff in here. Clean that out. It's a beautiful day. Got another flag. I've been flying K Park all winter. These guys are coming up. Gotta replace, gotta do some work on here. Gotta replace the flags too. As you can see, the lawn's been trimmed and weeded. Soon I'm gonna have just the contractors do it. And I'm just gonna take a break. That looks nice. Need some mulch under there. 
mulch under there. And that's going to bloom, spread out. By summer, it's going to bloom right before the fall. Hey, and y'all know what this is all about, right? You ain't driving a Beamer, you ain't driving nothing. <laughs> that's a joke. Yeah, love my 750. Yeah, gotta get some mulch under there. Put some weed killers under there earlier. Clean that up too. Oh. Everything looks good. Put some new lighting out right here. It's gonna, so it don't look so dirt dark. And my cousin watching. It's how Virginia rolls. You watch it from Oklahoma or California. This baby right here is getting ready to take off. Much, yeah, she's getting ready to do something. She's coming up nicely in the flowers. This bush right here is going about to bloom, and this one's about to bloom. And it beautiful flowers. I'm here to tell you, beautiful flowers. You should plant plant one of these bushes in your yard. It'll definitely bring it up. Now I took some of these guys, and I know you don't see them yet. And spread them out and move the, some to the front and some to the back. So they, they, they're neck looking, they're back with Avengers. Yeah, I got my loom. And the backyard looks impeccable. Look at all these robins out here. We're gonna build a nest out here sooner or later. Y'all see that Robin? Hands shaking because it's tired. It's always shaking when I do some work on this yard. Mm-hmm. And then you gotta be faithful. I mean, all those trees right there, the palm trees, the ferns, have dead branches all the way to the ground. And I trimmed them up. They bet they're better off now than they were when I first got here. But I had to clean all that stuff up. And then clean all that stuff over there too. It was overgrowth everywhere. It's neglect. This is a showpiece. I got many more plants. I'm gonna play another tree right there. That one died. These plants right here getting ready to take off. And there's my flower right there. But those the guys are blooming too. This bush right here is very unique. There's nothing like it around here. I've never seen anything like it, but it has one of the most beautiful blossoms i ever seen. And I can't even think of the name. I'll probably scan it and have, and see what, ha what, it, what it is later on. And it's absolutely gorgeous, the flowers that come out of there. Plus, I got my little wild, my grass right there, my landscape grass. They, they bloom beautiful flowers as well. It's all about what you want, guys. All because you grew up in a small house doesn't mean you have to stay in one. You can still maintain it. It's because like anything else, you got to be responsible. If you're not responsible, then don't don't even bother. Don't bother with it. Because neighborhood association is not playing around. I see a dead tree in my neighbor's yard that's about to fall. I could tell a tree died or dying. These are going to be absolutely, these canopies are going to be full. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. That's my neighbor's yard right there. Yeah, a lot of veterans live out here. And see here, doesn't that look nice? Oh, you can see that all the way through. But once the plants gets going, it's going to be impeccable. But anyway, I just wanted to have a chit chat. You ready to get into this Bible study? Now, I'm going to do that through what God Jehovah said in Jesus' name. That's my other group. Because Jehovah is not playing around. Jesus is coming back to rule forever. I see a crew working over there. But that looks good so far. I mean, you, you, you still don't have the idea, concept of what my wife and I are visualizing for this area right here. And then we're going to get this one sparsely cleaned up 
have all these rocks digged up, put a couple tarps under there, remove a few plants. Some of the plants, a lot of these plants are staying because they, they bloom every year. But there's some stuff growing in, that's still growing from the last time, last bush. So we're going to get those removed, move them somewhere else, replant them and shape them just like I'm doing this one over here. And they should be gorgeous as well. Yeah, get all that stuff to be done. That's what I want to do. Plus remodel the kitchen. And we're going to make all this happen. You know, there's nothing you can't do with your own. If you have limited income, that's when you go out. And get credentials that will give you more income. Well, I don't care if it's a license, a journeyman license, master's license. I don't care if it's a bachelor's or a master's degree. You get some skills. Get a drill estate like, hey, sis, how you doing? I know that's right. Me too. I was out here earlier cutting a little grass and I said, let me go ahead and vacuum, get rid of some of this stuff. And I need to get some new lights for the back. It's good to see you, though. Well, you enjoy the rest of the... Uh-oh. I didn't know the mailman came. Let me check. I didn't know the mailman came already. Yeah, they came. I was about to go back in the house. It's such a gorgeous day. It is a nice day. It is a really nice day. It is. Well, you and my brother, tell you, have a good one now. I sure will. Yep, mail did come. My gracious. And something from Chesterfield County. All right, guys. Let me walk. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like a castle. Actually, this house is close to many houses that have gone up in value because it's, you know what? That means they're almost a million dollars. It's going to be out of reach for a lot of people. Then you got interest rate at 78%. These houses were 2%. That was tough. You know? Home's going to be out of reach soon unless you diversify your income. You know, you got to try different things. Everything is not a scam. You got to try different things. You fail in many different things, too. Fail your way to success. Sometimes you got to do it. Try different things. Try Oh, this is going to be good when this come up. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to be beautiful. I'm excited. Oh, I know where all that is. But you got to be willing to do something that people, people are not willing to do, guys. That's the only way you're going to win. I didn't get here just by chance. I didn't get here playing the lottery. I definitely didn't get here doing all these other things people are doing. All I done was above and beyond what the norm is. And I'm being faithful with what I got. You got a car, brand new car, you take care of that car for years until you're ready to sell it or trade it. You treat you, you get an old car, you treat it like a new car. I had a 1980 Mustang, I did an 81 Mustang. I took very good care of it. I waxed it. Yeah, the paint was rough. It faded, but I took care of it. I waxed it. I washed it. I shampooed the carpet. I took stuff off, make sure it was clean, make sure the oil changed every 3,000 miles, spark plugs up to date. Uh, of course, I had a little boom machine in there, but it was nice. Uh, couldn't afford rims, so I got my regular rims. I kept looking nice. So you take care. You take care of what you have. That's the lesson for you today. You be faithful with a few things, guys. Whatever you have in your hand, take good care of it. Take good care of it so God can elevate you, promote you, get you in position for promotion to move in a higher direction. Because if you're not ready to handle, you don't take care of what you got here, how in the world are you be able to take care of something higher beyond what you have? Everybody want to be a millionaire, but you don't have a millionaire mindset. You're not ready. That's why you're not getting it. You're not ready. Get in position. Do the do, hey, do the what it takes to get there. You want to go to college? You want guys, you're gonna to have to tell your friends, I'll catch y'all later, because you're gonna hit them books. Books are your priority from now on. 
academically. Your job is a priority. I worked, I worked a full-time job. I was in college full-time, and I was in ROTC full-time, and the Army Reserve. Don't tell me what you can't do. You tell me what you can do, and we'll go from there. Anyway, no excuses. Anyway, guys, I just hope this helped you today, and I hope I inspire some people to do beyond the norm. If you want luxury lifestyle, you got to start living a luxury lifestyle now. And I mean not spending, but taking care of what you have as if it was worth millions. You understand what I'm saying? So if you got silverware, you polish that silverware. You got uh, wood furniture, you polish that wood furniture. You got old shoes, take a brush and some bleach with soapy water and scrub them shoes and make them look and get some white stuff to go on to make them look white again, like brand new. You make everything you have look brand new. You understand what I'm saying? Take care of your hats. Take care of your clothes. Press your clothes like it's your uniform. Those in the military understand what I'm talking about. You press your clothes. You wear professional look. Look professional every day, even in work clothes. All right. Look bright. Have brighter clothes on. And if it started to fade, replace and put some new stuff on. If you can, you can always catch them on sale. But I want to inspire you to do more than what other people are willing to do. You want a new job? Okay, get some professional development that's going to have you stand out among your peers. You understand what I'm saying? I offer no guarantees, but it, it works for me. You know, take some courses. Take some courses. Learn about banking. Learn about finances. Learn learn how to type. Teach yourself how to type. I taught myself how to type. I could type maybe 25 to 50 words per minute with very limited errors. But nobody told me I had to teach myself. And I was a regular typewriter. You ought to want you want to want more for yourself and your family. Don't be lazy. The Bible said laziness is a sin. Anyway, I'm gonna let you all go. You all have a great day. This is another day of the uh, Dr. Arnold's home, and I hope you enjoy the tour. Walk around. There are going to be many more as the spring and summer unfolds because I love flowers and I love showing my flowers. You want flowers, man. They, they've got, Walmart usually have them on sale. Um, what's the other company called? Colonial Heights um, Boulevard Flower Boulevard Flowers. They have them on sale. They, they have some good giveaways. Too. I mean, you might well call them giveaways. And then you have um, Lowe's and Home Depot's. Plenty of place, and then get the one that's come back every year. Take care of it oh, during the during the, over the winter, and uh, and watch it beautify your your landscape during the spring and summer. You know, take care of what you got. Again, polish your shoes, clean your shoes, keep your house looking impeccable like it's a million dollar mansion. And yeah, you don't have no no maid no butler because you the maid and butler. You want to give a first impression to your guests each and every time. All right. Anyway, guys, Reverend Dr. Antonio Arnold signed off. God bless you, and airborne out.